Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering a question which I am asked multiple times every single day, so you're going to want to listen closely. <laughs> I'm going to be providing you with all of the things you need to achieve that big booty slim waist look. <laughs> and keep this short and punchy so it sticks in your mind. I'm gonna give you five main ingredients to my recipe to the perfect booty little waist combo, if you know what I mean. So first of all, I'm gonna talk you through these five things which I think are super important in achieving this look, and then we'll head downstairs and I'll provide you with some exercise examples. So before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up to support me, hit that subscribe button as well, and leave a comment below at the end letting me know what you thought. Okay, so the first part in achieving your big booty slim waist look is going to be hit. It's gonna become your best friend, it's gonna help you lower your body fat percentage and bring that waist in. Unfortunately, you cannot spot fat reduced, you can't do magic waist exercises which makes your waist smaller, you're just gonna have to reduce your overall body fat percentage and then that will bring your waist in. The second thing that I recommend is core exercises. So obviously the HIIT is gonna help you reduce your body fat percentage and bring that waist in, but ultimately core exercises are gonna help you make it even more defined. You can do oblique exercises to tighten the size of your abs and get a nice toned core, which obviously looks great in this kind of look. The next step that I wanna talk about is booty exercises. And I know this is really obvious, but I need to say it. I actually have a video with my five top tips for glute growth. So go and check that out if you want a little bit more detail. The next step is kind of less well known, but it is super important and I feel like when you know it, you'll be like, why didn't I think of this before? It is upper body and back exercises so you can create the illusion of a smaller waist. So if you build your lats and your upper body out, then your waist is gonna look smaller because the ratios, obviously, you'll have a bigger upper body and then your waist will go down and it'll be smaller. So yeah, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite back exercises downstairs. My fifth and final ingredient to the slim, thick look is your diet. And I say this every time I make a video, your diet is super, super important. You can't do all of the exercise things right and expect to achieve the look without sorting out your diet at the same time. So to achieve this look, you do need a very high protein diet. You're gonna need lots of complex carbs, healthy fats as well. It's kind of a tricky one because obviously you're told to eat in a surplus to grow your glutes and to get abs, you're told to eat in a deficit. So this is where people get confused and say, how should I be eating? So I guess meeting in the middle is a good place to start. You can eat at maintenance, see if you can achieve your goals that way. Make sure you're eating a balanced, healthy, clean diet high protein and then if you need to up your calories a bit to build your glutes go for it if you want to lower them to sort of lower your body fat more and reveal your abs a bit more then you can but it is all about working out what works for you personally and sort of playing with your diet a little bit and your calories and stuff like that but uh, it is a really important part and you can't just get away with just doing the exercises and things like that you need to Slow out your diet as well. So without further ado, let's head downstairs and I'll show you some of my favorite exercises for the first four parts. We've got our hit, we've got our ab exercises, we've got our booty exercises, and we've got our back exercises. So we will head downstairs and do those now. Hey guys, so first up, I'm gonna start with some of my go-to HIIT exercises, which is absolutely great for lowering your body fat percentage, which ultimately is gonna bring in that waist. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is twists. So it's a cardiovascular movement, but you're also activating that core. You're really squeezing tummy muscles nice and tight, and jumping side to side and twisting. Okay guys, we're gonna do 20 of those. Let's go. There's a feeling. Great job. Okay guys, my next hip movement I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a burpee, one of my absolute favorites. It's a killer, but it works. You feel your whole entire body burning and you feel exhausted, but it's a great feeling. <laughs> so with the burpee, we're gonna squat down, go down onto our chests, bring it back up, and then jump up like that, okay? We're gonna do 10 of those, let's do this. Fire 
those burpees always catch me out. They're exhausting. Okay guys, so our next hip movement is gonna be high knees. You're just gonna bring your knees nice and high and run and hold that core nice and tight. Squeeze it, get those legs nice and high, okay? Okay, we're gonna do 20 of those. Let's do this. Okay guys, so the final hip movement I'm going to show you today is skaters. You're gonna hop across, down. A little bit tight for space. <laughs> Almost went flying. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do 10 of these. Let's go. Throw yourself into it. Squeeze those core muscles. Really feel the movement through the legs. Let's do this. Guys. Okay guys, next I want you to hop on the floor because we're going to be doing some oblique focused ab exercises. First up, we have the Russian twist chop. So you're going to bring your legs up and chop, 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 chop. Okay, <laughs> really squeezing those core muscles nice and tight, working them, plants in the way again. <laughs> okay, we're going to do 12 of these today. Really think about using those tummy muscles. Let's do this thing. For the next exercise, we've got a little bit of a combo. We're gonna go toe touch, knee out. Toe touch, knee out. We'll do five on one leg and then switch to the other leg. Other leg, let's go. Ooh. Okay, guys, so our next ab exercise is a side crunch. You're going to really feel it in your side oblique muscles okay let's go right into it so you're going to go up into a side plank you're just going to crunch here and we're going to do 10 of those on each side okay let's do this okay guys our final ab exercise you're just going to lie flat on your back you're gonna reach round and do some ankle taps. Remember, the further away your feet are, the harder it's gonna be. Don't make it too hard, but then don't make it too easy. Nice, healthy medium. Okay, we're gonna do 16 of these. Let's go. Okay guys, so next we are on to the booty building section of the video. You need some booty exercises to build the booty. So the first one is the squat. I think we all know how important squats are to group growth, to group growth, to glute growth, but if you don't, they are. So I'm gonna show you a squat with a resistance band today. However, you can do one on a squat rack, on a Smith machine, with dumbbells, with a kettlebell. There are endless possibilities, but we're at home, so I'm gonna use a resistance band today. And there's also lots of different types. We have our conventional, we have our sumos. You can do so much with a squat, so if you don't enjoy a boring old normal squat, mix it up, try something new, okay? So just for today, I'm gonna to show you 12 conventional squats with a resistance band. Let's do this. slash hip thrust. So with a hip thrust, you have a bench or some kind of platform on your upper back shoulder blade area, and then you thrust upwards. However, I'm gonna show you glute bridges today and all you need is a floor for that, so perfect. 
So I always have some kind of glute bridge or hip thrust movement in my glute workouts. I've spoken about them many times on my channel and how important they are. They lend themselves so well to heavy lifting as well, particularly hip thrusts, and you just really work those glutes right to exhaustion. So we're gonna do 12 glute bridges with a resistance band today, and you can see how I do it. Let's go. <laughs> Discovered, didn't care for one another, you and I, you and I, thought I was okay. To... Next I want to talk about deadlifts. So deadlifts are actually a great one for working the majority of your body. They're great for your back as well as your legs and your glutes and your hammies. So more often than not, I will have some kind of deadlift in my lower body days. So today we're just going to do a Romanian deadlift, a Romanian you bring your weight down to your mid shin, and then just come back, squeeze your hinge at the hips, flex the hamstrings, bring the weight down, nice and close to the legs, up, squeeze. However, if you had like a barbell and you were doing a full deadlift, you'd drop it all the way to the floor, and it's like a dead weight, that's kind of the name, <laughs> you pick it up again and squeeze. But today we're doing Roman today we're doing Romanian, there's so many different types, maybe one day I'll do a video on all the different types of deadlift, but for today, we're doing Romanians and we're going to do 12 of these. So let's do this thing. Something in me changed, don't know why. Don't know why. Slight bend in the knees. You got me high, but I'm sober. You make me lonely when I'm by myself. I should be free, but I'm hoping that we could be something in the end. Ooh, great work guys. So I talk about this so much more in my glute focused video. I'll pop the link on the screen. However, it is really important that you do your isolation glute movements as well as your big compound lifts, the squats, the deadlifts, etc. You need to do these to really sculpt and shape and <laughs> work the muscles that you perhaps wouldn't in the big compounds. So today I'm going to show you a kickback or a donkey kick rather. So we're just gonna do some pulses out here and we are going to do 20 of those because they're a little movement, it's a burner, it's a little creeper. Let's do this thing. show you a couple of my go-to back exercises obviously if the gyms were open at the moment I could use like the lat pull-down machine the cables there's so many great machines for your upper body at the gym but that doesn't mean we can't work it at home as well so as I was saying earlier if you build out your upper body like it's gonna make your waist look smaller because the wider this is the thinner this is gonna look do you get what I mean so if you build your lats and upper body outwards up there, you're gonna have a little baby waist at the bottom. <laughs> okay, so the first back exercise which I'm gonna show you is a bent over row, and we're just gonna pull back this way. You're gonna have an underhand grip. I'm gonna do 10 of those. Okay, let's go. Thought I'd still be feeling the same as the beginning. Waste of time, waste of time. on the floor and this is actually great for both your glutes and your upper body so we are going to do some super women's and we're going to squeeze that upper back and torso off the ground and squeeze the legs as well and the glutes as much as you can and then lower back down again okay we're going to do 10 of these let's go guys dumbbell pullover and to set up for this you're just going to pop yourself on the floor you are going to put your upper body or upper back rather <laughs> onto some kind of platform like this 
You're gonna squeeze those glutes up, working the glutes as well as the upper body. Uh, make sure your back is nice and supported and your head as well. Oh, plant attacking me. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is lower above our head. You should feel the extension in your lats, but keep that under control. So keep the glutes squeezed back over the top, okay? We are going to do 10 of these. Let's go. Didn't care for one another You and I You and I Thought I lost my way Great work guys! So for our final exercise you are going to need a resistance band and it's kind of like replicating the lap pull down machine that you get in the gym so let me just start my band this is quite a long one but it's kind of stretchy so it works so I'm just going to like fold it over twice and then hold it above my head and then what you do is pull down pull down, pull down, okay? You can do it behind you, or you can do it in front of you. Today, I'm gonna do it behind, okay? Let's do 10 of these, we're almost there. You got me hot, I'm so burned. You make me lonely when I'm by myself. Great job, guys. Okay guys, that is absolutely everything. Just to run over what we've done, we've done some hit exercises, which are gonna help you reduce your body fat percentage to help get that waist in. We've done some ab exercises, which is really gonna help you tighten your tummy muscles. And then we've done some glute exercises, which are gonna help you build that booty. And then finally, we have done some back exercises, which are gonna help you create the illusion of a smaller waist as you build your back outwards. And then our fifth and final point, which I'm not gonna give you an example for because it's food. <laughs> I want you guys to remember the importance of eating properly and fueling this goal because there's no point doing all of these exercises and all of the right things like with your body unless you're gonna fuel it properly. So high protein, complex carbs, lots of healthy fats and work out what sort of calorie intake works for you and this specific goal. So I hope you feel a little bit clearer on how you can achieve this now. I know it's not really easy or straightforward and it's gonna take some trial and error, but you guys have totally got this. I believe in you. And if you do have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.